Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to carry on with a question and a follow up about something you said in your opening statements about spending on the Defense Department and the need to keep it in check. In light of this budget deal that will not keep defense spending on pace with inflation, what areas do you think department, the Department of Defense should cut back spending? Are we looking at uh, acquisitions, operations, maintenance, personnel, or family benefits? Well, I mean, obviously, I think what, what I should clarify, and thanks for giving me the chance to do that. I think it is falling behind. It, uh, the, the, even though it is going up, uh, and it's, it's the only thing going up uh, to any kind of uh, measure, it, it still is not keeping pace with inflation. So if you go up 3%, inflation's at 7 you're, you're losing 4% here. So the question is, what do you, how do you make that squeeze? I mean, we can always say, I could, I could say easily, you know, waste, fraud, and abuse, but I mean, you're talking billions, you know, a lot of money here. And I'm not sure that that's, that's a satisfactory answer. I think we're going to have to look at this in the whole context of uh, do we come back and try to put more money into defense? We've got uh, Ukraine in a very um, difficult position right now. We've also got China, uh, who's uh, outpacing us in terms of the race for any kind of superiority that things that, particularly on the, on the military side, but also other areas. So we need to make sure we're keeping pace with this. And, and I think many of our members will, not many, but some of our members will vote against this bill for that very reason, that it does not fortify our defense enough. I'm willing to say it, it does go up. It is a big, uh, it, it's, it's a big boost, but we need a bigger one. To follow up, if I may, um, yes. we talked about sending uh, uh, military munitions out of our wartime stocks to Ukraine. Will this budget deal affect our ability to replenish those stocks that we have sent? No, I don't think it will. I think we will prioritize what we need. Replenishing our stock is obvious. So we've asked this question, I have, to the military uh, numerous times in committee. Uh, it's a big push for the military as well as recruitment. And so I think we will be able to replenish our stock. If, if the sectors that are building these munitions, which some of them are in West Virginia, are, are uh, uh, at a capacity to be able to do that. Thank you. Mm -hmm.